Right guys, welcome back to another session. We are back at the yard again. Uh, I'm hooked on getting a big congreal or a big ray. Nice easy easy session. Uh, high tide is going to be at 10 to 10, which is currently 10 to 7, so three hours until high. I've got uh, young Ollie down here with me. Hey. See if we can uh, get him a nice big uh, eel tonight. Usual uh, tactics, pulley rigs, up, up and overs, uh, squid and bluey wraps. Um, I got some herring with me tonight as well. Uh, this is one bait I've got ready. That's a squid with a herring belly and some more herring just to give that a go. But yeah, fingers crossed, beautiful weather. Southerly wind, very light southerly wind off our, off our backs. So, uh, hopefully we can expect a few uh, fish tonight, fingers crossed. Right, we're a few uh, casts in now. Both had bites, but nothing come of, them, come of them. I had a nice bite on the T900 rod, slow pull down, a couple of clicks on the ratchet, and uh, picked the rod up, started winding it. it, was the fish was coming towards me because it kept on giving me slack, giving me slack. So I wound down, hit it, and nothing. So I'm not sure if it was an eel playing around with me or a ray playing around with me. But uh, good sign, still another still another two hours till high yet, so prime time's yet to come. Uh, got a big bait going out on the T1000 next. Uh, half a herring, hang on, let me show you. Half a herring with a squid attached to it. That's going to be the next bait going out on the T1000. Trying to aim towards the jetty but trying to get some distance as well so it uh, sometimes doesn't go to plan it go a bit left like previous cast has done. But uh, I reckon we'll have a nice fish tonight. If not a ray one of us will have an eel. So uh, I'll bring you back hopefully when we've got a fish. Right, there we have it guys, first fish of the night. And it's a PB. This is a 10 pound six. six, six, six. 10 pound six. Thornback Ray. What a beautiful fish. Lovely scrap, nice little bite. And he fought all the way in. Pulled me up with the tide. Let's get some quick pictures and we'll uh, pop him back. What an absolute beauty. Well, what an absolutely fantastic thornback ray that was. Great, uh, great first fish of the session. Hopefully we'll get some more now. A nice big eel or some more thornies. I've said it before in a previous video that I was struggling to get big thornbacks here. Like usually they tend to be six, seven pound max. But to have that thorny was, was, it was something special from you. Um, Again, fishing in the Haven, a 10 pound double figure fish at the yard again. PB at the yard again. I absolutely love this place. Oh, he's just pinged one out there. Oh, mate. Short drop again? Yeah, good tip that was. And uh, yeah, we've got some nice baits going out now. It's coming up to prime time now. Hour oh, still high almost. So, um, Hopefully, big eel, big thorny. But you never know what's going to turn up. Fingers, fingers crossed for a big Oh, eel. we got a wriggly one here. Oh, he's only a barbie. Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother. Oh, whoa. Hey, here we go. <laughs> what a beauty. Let's get him pop straight back because he's. He's wriggling a fair bit. <laughs> Go on, I'll take her away, mate. Take it away? What you got? I got a nice little thorn here. Um, probably half the size of the one Tom's had, but <laughs> it's a fish. I'm right, currently battling with a little conger. That won't give me my hook back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fish are coming on the feed now. Plenty of bites. Hopefully we'll pull out a few more now. Well, it's... Uh, 
ooh, half hour past high water now, just starting to ebb. Coming up to high, we had loads of bites. Loads and loads of bites, but uh, I missed. I missed quite a few bites. Uh, I had one bite on the T900, slowly ashed over and it screamed off. Um, my guess was a ray had come over it, picked it up and started swimming the other way instead of swimming towards me. But I'm uh, going to give it another half hour probably, half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Got two more baits to chuck out. Um, I did have a, a, a dogfish and a conger, but uh, they were badly uh, got hooked. So um, I tried to get them off the hooks, but couldn't get them out at all. So I just stepped the snooze and popped them back. Hopefully they'll rust out. Um, yeah, two more baits going out. So hopefully we can uh, grab a tidy fish on the last couple of casts. Here we have it, another reel. Maybe a double. I'm not going to weigh him. In fact, I will weigh him. I'll weigh him a sec. Ah, oh, no. Probably nine to ten pound. Maybe a bit more. I don't really. He's another short fatty. But yeah, nice bite. Wound down, hit it. Good scrap, and then I thought you'd come off, and then he must have swam in with me, but uh, lovely. We're going to pop back. Right, here we have it. End of the trip. Uh, plenty of fish this time, but nothing uh, nothing overly massive in the terms of uh, conger eels. We had a few each, um, probably seven, eight, nine pound ish, the biggest. Uh, we had a ray each. Uh, mine was a PB, Ollie's was a, probably about five pounds, you say? Yeah, something like that. Five pounds, something like that. Um, I also had a doggy as well. But yeah. All in all, great little session. The yard strikes again with a with another nice fish, PB uh, thornback ray at ten pounds six ounces. Um, might try and mix it up next time and go um, south coast of Pembrokeshire. Uh, back at uh, a market I've got some videos on previously. Go check it out. It's hunting for conger eels, but uh, yep. Yeah. I'll leave it there for now. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.